Hello everyone, welcome to Live Interactive English. I'm Matt. I'm Winnie. Today we're looking at part one of seal or sea lion. What's the difference? So Matt, have you ever seen a sea lion? I think I saw a sea lion, but it might have been a seal. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. That's right. So yeah, I was in um, San Francisco recently and I went to Pier 39. So I'd been there once before when I was a kid and I remember I went there and there were hundreds of sea lions sitting on the dock making noise. Going, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. And it was so noisy. And so I went just recently in the summer and there were no sea lions there. Wow, that's a contrast. I know, so I went there expecting to see sea lions and there was nothing. And apparently they told me it was just the wrong season, the wrong time of year when all the sea lions leave to go have a party somewhere else. Yeah, so it was off season, so that's probably why you didn't see them. But when I was a kid, I went in the winter time and I, I saw a lot of sea lions too. Okay. Yeah, so when you want to see sea lions, you got to go at the right time, otherwise you're, gonna, you're not going to get any sea lion action. Yeah, that's right. If you want to see sea lions, no. if you want to see the sea lions, you got to go the right time of year, maybe check in advance. But also we see seals a lot, I think, where I'm, I think they're seals again, might be sea lions, but I'm pretty sure they're seals around where I'm from in Canada. We'll often see seals bobbing up, just their heads above the water. Yeah. Don't often see them on the land or on a dock or something, but often just see their heads pop up above the water. It's usually too quick to, to tell if it's a seal yeah. or sea lion. That's, that's, a, that's the thing about seals and sea lion. There are so many similarities that you really can't tell mm -hmm. the difference. So I guess when we get into the article today, we'll find some strategies to tell the difference between seals and sea lions. It loves lying in the sun like a house cat, and it's got the face of an innocent puppy dog. But is it a seal or a sea lion? Even though we often refer to both animals as seals, these marine mammals are quite different from each other. Seals and sea lions both belong to a group called pinnipeds, a term that comes from the Latin for thin-footed. In general, sea lions are bigger than seals, but looking at the animal's size is not always the most reliable way to spot the difference. So, Matt, I'm really excited to dive in to the seal and sea lion debate. How do we tell the difference, okay? So, seal or sea lion, what's the difference? Part one. It loves lying in the sun like a house cat and it's got the face of an innocent puppy dog. But is it a seal or a sea lion? I love seals and I love sea lions because I, re I really love animals and I really love marine animals. Right, so yeah. sea lions and seals are the combination of a puppy and a cat? I mean, yeah, the behavior is quite cat-like. Sounds like, like I should get one for a pet. Ah, I don't think they'll let you do that. <laughs> <laughs> So it's got the innocent face of a puppy. So innocent means not having done anything bad, not being guilty of have done, having done a crime or something bad. So when it say it has an innocent face, it means it has the face that looks like it can't do anything bad, it won't do anything bad, it's done nothing wrong. It's an yeah. innocent puppy, a puppy is very young and cute. And so you know a puppy would never do anything wrong. Have you ever heard of the term puppy dog eyes? That's right, yeah, puppy dog eyes, it means, yeah, well usually it's when you're trying to get something yeah. from someone, you try and look as cute and innocent as right, you can. Right, exactly, yes. yeah. So another example for innocent, Joe works for an organization that protects innocent animals from harm. So those animals have done nothing wrong and he will protect them from harm. Even though we often refer to both animals as seals, these marine mammals are quite different from each other. So they are marine mammals, meaning they live... In the sea. In the sea. So sea animals and things that live in the ocean, under the sea, these are marine animals. In particular, these are marine mammals. 
So marine mammals, okay, that means these animals live in the sea, right? So, but they're not fish. They're not fish or sharks or something like that because they are mammals. They still have to give birth. That's right. So, continue with the article. Seals and sea lions both belong to a group called pinnipeds. A term that comes from the Latin for fin-footed. Yes, very okay, good. So peds meaning feet, like a, a pedal on a bike has that same Latin part with a ped. And yeah, I, I know that a little bit too close because I just had an accident with my bicycle pedal. So I, I know the right. feeling. Yeah. So you, you hurt your ped, ped. with your pedal. <laughs> yeah. No, so yeah. So usually when you see the word ped, it's something related to feet. feet. And yeah. I guess we can assume that pinna means fin. Ooh, but yeah. Know. Very good. So, term, when we look at the word term, okay, it's used as a noun, which means a phrase or word that is used to describe something. So, for example, you could say, the teacher used many difficult terms that I didn't understand, okay? I know that feeling sometimes, especially when you go to science class or something and they use really long terms that come from Latin, you're kind of left there a little confused. Words like pinnipeds. Yeah, that can be quite confusing. Going back to the article, <laughs> In general, sea lions are bigger than seals, but looking at the animal's size is not always the most reliable way to spot the difference. Because what if you see a pup, right? Right. What if you see a young sea lion? It looks the same as a seal. You wouldn't, yeah. It's not going to be a reliable way to tell the difference. So, Matt, what does reliable mean? So, reliable is an adjective, meaning something you can trust, something that is consistent. It's usually the same. So, if it's a reliable way to tell the difference, means like every time you see a seal or sea lion, you could just go, that one's bigger, that must be a sea lion, that would be reliable. But as you mentioned, because there are young sea lions which are not grown to full size, they're not as big as they're going to be, that is not a reliable way, not something you can trust or consistently use to tell the difference. Right, so it might mean that it's different every time. Yes. So, another example, the train service was usually reliable, but today everything was delayed. Mm. I think Taiwanese trains are quite reliable. Yeah, I think they're very reliable. Usually you can trust that when you have a train scheduled, that that train will be there on time and you will get where you're going on time. Right, exactly. So that makes it reliable. And right now, I'm really excited to learn more about the difference between seals or sea lions, okay? So I think we'll go back to it right after the break. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。同学们分辨得出海豹和海狮吗？它们似乎都有着一张无辜小狗的脸，看起来很呆萌。虽然我们常把这两种动物都称为海豹，但这些海洋哺乳类动物彼此大为不同。海豹跟海狮都是属于这种 pinniped 鳍足类动物。好，那我们看一下 pinniped 这个术语啊，是来自拉丁文，它的意思就是有鳍足的。那么老师们就有聊到说。Pinniped 其中的字根 p e d 这个部分就表示足部哦。好，那么一般来说啊，这个海狮是比海豹大的，但是你光是看体型来分辨它们差异，并不一定是最可靠的方法。这边我们来看一下单字 innocent。它是形容词，形容天真的、无辜的或是清白的。那么 ，term term 是当名词，表示措辞、词语或是术语，专门名称。那么 ，reliable 它是形容词，形容值得信赖的或是可靠的。再看到补充单字 marine， 它表示海洋的、海生的。那么 ，mammal 则表示哺乳类动物。这边两个重点，我们进入文法时间。第一个重点是 refer to 的意思与用法。好，那么来看第一个意思，就是表达说称某人事物为什么什么。那么用法是 refer to somebody or something as 加上名词或形容词。举例来说 ，Kate refers to her dog。As her son, Kate 把他的狗狗称为儿子，是他的狗儿子。好，再来第二个意思是表达查阅、参考，像是查阅资料之类的。例如 ，Please refer to our website for more information. 想知道更多资讯，请上我们的网站查阅。
。第三个意思是表达、提及、谈到或是说起。例如 ，The whole thing was never referred to again. 那整件事啊，再也没有被提起过了。好，第二个重点是 in general， 它表示一般来说、通常或是大体上。那这个片语当副词，就跟 generally 意思用法相同。例如 ，In general。Children start losing their baby teeth at age six. 一般来说，小孩六岁开始掉乳牙，开始掉牙。那接回到课文中。In fact, the easiest way is to look at the ears. A seal has no external ears, but instead has two holes on the sides of its head. Sea lions, on the other hand, have clearly visible ear flaps. In addition, seals prefer to be alone. They are also quiet and typically make low, soft noises. Sea lions, however, are very social and can usually be found in large groups, in which they love to play and bark loudly to communicate. Welcome back. We're continuing to learn about seals and sea lions and how to tell the difference between them. So we've learned that they are both pinnipeds, meaning fin feet. So they have feet like feet that are fins.、Um, but we also learned that sea lions are usually bigger, but that that's not a reliable way to tell the difference between them. So we're going to learn. Some more ways to tell what's the difference between a seal and a sea lion. Right. So continuing with the article, in fact, the easiest way is to look at the ears. A seal has no external ears, but instead has two holes on the sides of its head. So external means on the outside. So just like humans, okay, we have external ears. We can see that we have ears, right? But seals, they don't have external ears. They only have two holes. Sea lions, on the other hand, have clearly visible ear flaps. Okay, so they have ear flaps. So we have ears. We don't have ear. Flaps because our ears are not flaps, really. So yeah, a flap is usually a loose piece of material on the outside of something that is attached by one side. So that can be like on a pocket. You could have a flap over the front of it that you can lift up to get into the pocket.、Mm -hmm. In this case, it's an ear flap, so it's attached sort of on one side. It's loose, kind of like an elephant. Yeah, an elephant kind of has an ear that's like a flap. Yeah, that's right. So these ear flaps are visible, are clearly visible. So, as you mentioned, you you said we have external ears, they have external ears. It's some, and that you can see that we have external ears. That means that it's visible. Visible means able to be seen. So if you can see something, you can say that thing is visible. Right, like Matt is sitting right there. He's visible. I can see him. But if he were invisible, that means. <gasps> Where did Matt go? I can't see him. So that, that could be his, his superpower. Right. right. If you have like、uh, Harry Potter's magic cloak, cloak、yeah. you can turn invisible. Right. So、exactly. another example: the sea is sometimes visible from the top of Taipei 101. In addition, seals prefer to be alone. They are also quiet. And typically make low, soft noises. Right. So as opposed to, I guess, sea lions, where I think we all know they make ar 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 sound. Right. I always think, but I think if you ask someone to make a seal noise, they would say that. Right. right. So、exactly. they're actually gonna. We've got to confuse with the noises too. Right. Okay. <laughs> so when we look at the word typically, okay, it's an adverb. Another way of saying usually or something that normally occurs a certain way. Okay, so for example, coffee is typically served at the end of a meal in expensive restaurants. Sea lions, however, are very social and can usually be found in large groups, in which they love to play and bark loudly to communicate. Which is probably what we heard in San Francisco when we were kids. <laughs> right, that noise that that they make is the the barking、yeah. and communicating with each other. Right, it can be a quite unpleasant sound because they're very loud.、Mm. But I'm excited to continue on the next part of this awesome adventure we're taking with seals and sea lions. See you next time.
。要区分海豹和海狮，最简单的方法就是看耳朵。海豹呢，没有外耳。他们则是可以看到它的头两侧有两个耳洞，另一方面，海狮则是可以有清楚可见的耳廓。我们文中它是用 ear flap 来指耳廓，其中的 flap f l a p 它是指垂下物、垂下来的东西，或者是带盖，像这个带着盖子盖下来这样。好，那么单字 visible 它是形容词，形容肉眼可见的或是明显的。它的相反词是在前面加上 i n invisible， 就是形容。看不见的无形的。好，那么柯文接着提到说，海豹比较喜欢独处，它们也很安静，通常会发出低沉柔和的声音。可是这个海狮则是非常善于社交，常常被发现它们是成群结队的。那它们在群体当中呢，会喜欢玩耍，大声喊叫来进行交流。好，单字 typically 这个副词呢，就表示一般、通常或是指典型的。好，这边一个重点，我们进入文法时间。这边我们来学习 on the other hand 表示另一方面。那这个副词片语是用来表示跟前面叙述不同或是对比的情况。例如 ，Brad is generous to everyone. His brother, on the other hand, is a very stingy person. Brad 对每个人都很大方。另一方面，他的哥哥则是非常小气的人。好，另外也可以用 on the one hand 点点点 ，on the other hand 点点点去表达一方面怎么样，另一方面怎么样。像是 on the one hand he wants to spend more time with his family, but on the other hand. He has to work overtime to earn more money. 一方面，他想多花点时间陪伴家人，但另一方面，他必须加班赚更多的钱。好，那么以上的讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。It loves lying in the sun like a house cat, and it's got the face of an innocent puppy dog. But is it a seal or a sea lion? Even though we often refer to both animals as seals, these marine mammals are quite different from each other. Seals and sea lions both belong to a group called pinnipeds, a term that comes from the Latin for thin-footed. In general, sea lions are bigger than seals, but looking at the animal's size is not always the most reliable way to spot the difference. In fact, the easiest way is to look at the ears. A seal has no external ears, but instead has two holes on the sides of its head. Sea lions, on the other hand, have clearly visible ear flaps. In addition, seals prefer to be alone. They are also quiet and typically make low, soft noises. Sea lions, however, are very social and can usually be found in large groups, in which they love to play and bark loudly to communicate. Here you go, your chocolate bars. Wait, what? Why are they so small? I gave you two hundred NT, didn't I? Yeah, each bar is twenty NT times ten. That's two hundred NT. That's weird. I expect it to be bigger. When I was a kid, it used to be this big, and it cost twenty NT too. Did it shrink? Yeah, that's called shrinkflation. I'm Karen. Hey, everybody. I'm Shane. Today we are going to introduce a new phrase called shrinkflation. So, what is shrinkflation? Okay. So, for example, I paid the same price for this chocolate bar as I always have,、mm. but it was smaller this time. That's shrinkflation. Oh, I get it. Inflation is when prices rise; they inflate like a balloon. Shrink means things get smaller. So with shrinkflation, the price of a product stays the same, but its size gets smaller. That's right. So it's like this chocolate bar. Twenty years ago, when I paid twenty NT, I could get the one in my right hand.、Mm -hmm. But now, when I pay the same twenty NT, I can only get the one in my left hand. 
Hmm, it seems to be a marketing trick. A manufacturer does not raise the price of a product, they just reduce the cost of making it. Okay, now I want to have my chocolate bar, or it might shrink more tomorrow. Okay, that's all for today. We'll see you next time. Chocolate bar?